This is going to be a review of the Stanley 50 blade package of utility blades. It's the package number 11-921L. And the reason I bought this is because I have a utility knife and when you buy these blades in the store they are probably uh, five for five bucks or something. And this comes out to 50 blades for like $10 what an unbelievable deal and the thing is that let's face it these blades aren't being made by one company uh, this is going to be a review a limited review of the Stanley utility knife blade it's a 50 pack package number is 11-921L and when you buy these things in the store, they're expensive. They cost like $5 for maybe 5 or 10 of these. And when you buy them online, you can pick up 50 for about $10. So it's an unbelievable deal. And the neat thing is it looks like this thing comes in a, a little holder package. I'm going to open it up in a minute. And so they're used for these utility knives. If you don't own one of these, you... Oh, wow, I didn't know I had a Stanley knife. Okay, this is a really good knife. I picked this thing up online, and this is a great knife. Let me zoom in for the model number. Um... One of the uh, best utility, well, the best utility knife that I've ever had. Um, I love this thing and I use it all the time. So it's a really good knife. It's solid. It's secure. Bought it online. Um, so I use these things for opening it up of my packages <clears throat> and for breaking drywall when I'm installing uh, switches or switch boxes. Check out my channel. You can see that I've posted some videos on uh, using the knife to break through some wallboard drywall. So, not really much to say about this. I'm going to open it up in a minute, but if you like my videos, do a thumbs up, subscribe, or like. If you have a product you want me to review, let me know. If I can get a hold of it, I will. If you want to leave a donation to my channel, ask for my PayPal info. So, let me use the knife now. I'm going to be using the Stanley knife to cut open the package of Stanley blades so we can see what's in here. Alrighty, here we go. You always want to cut away from you. If you cut this way and you slip, you end up in the hospital cut away from you. The nice thing about a utility knife is you can, uh, should be able to knock these blades out to different depths. So it's a cool thing and there is a way to open this up somehow. I never remember to change the blade but let me cut away from here now. That's why you should own a utility knife or something like this. It makes opening up these plastic, I know I'm going to cut towards me now but my hand is not where the blade will injure me. So the utility blades are extremely sharp. They make doing something like this really easy, especially with all the new packaging nowadays that uses these very difficult plastic enclosures. I know I can shut off the video or speed it up, but why do that? All right, here. Wow, this is this is really neat. I'm impressed. I didn't really know what I was getting when I bought this. This is a nice. Okay, so you've got some uh, holes over here, so you could mount two screws on the wall and slide it down, and it would hold the thing. That's cool. I like that. How does this thing open? Oh, how does it open? I hope the blades aren't going to go flying. Okay, so you open this cover up. And uh, I'm assuming that these are for the screws, but let's find out. Yeah, that's what's in there, and I don't think I was supposed to take this cover off. So I'm going to put the cover back on, and it's a reorder number over there, but I'm going to place this cover back on here now. Hopefully I didn't mess anything up. And it's made so that the blades slide out at the top, and I don't really see how that works yet. I'm back. This is really a cool idea, what they came up with. So, again, I'm assuming that these, the instructions don't say, I'm assuming that this might be used for mounting screws and keeping this away from the package, uh, from the wall. I don't know. No explanation of what these are for. But what is really neat is, okay, so you have this mounted on your wall. 
and I guess you take this thing and you slide it. Do you slide it up or do you slide it down? You slide it down so it's hanging down. There we go. So it's hanging down on your wall and all you do is you put your finger and you slide it over here and the blade comes out. This is incredibly ingenious. I love this. The only thing that they could do besides this was that would be to have a way to store the used blades, but this is a real nice feature. It's beautiful. And so you take the blade out, make sure you keep it away from you. And now let's go put it in the utility knife and see what happens. This could take a while. I don't remember how this is done. I think this button is used to advance the blade. Who knows? Um, we got a lever here. Does this lever do anything? Does this open up the knife? Okay, something's happening here. Normally, this is so you can advance the blade out or push it out and lock it in place. So I'm going to keep the video going. Long videos are always really good. And that way people can leave comments about how long the video went for. So um, with a screw like that, that would be a pivot. So this has got to be, ooh, get that blade in there. Don't want to hurt myself. This has got to be some way to pivot this thing. It's just not pivoting yet, and I don't know why. Oh. Don't want to break it. So I believe there are two things you want to do. The first thing is you want to extend the blade out, step one, step two, as far as possible. You want to turn the blade away from you because you don't want to kill yourself. If you kill yourself, I will not be responsible. And then after you do that, you're going to be pressing this button in. This holds in the blade, so I'm going to press the button in, and it releases. It might catch on one of them. Okay, it releases the blade. Now, you could take this thing and turn it around. I don't know if the other side of the blade has been used. So I'm putting a new blade in, and when I go and turn it around next time, I'm just going to put an X on there with a, a marker so that I know. But you do not want to put your fingers over on the sharp edge like I'm doing. You want to take the blade. You want to insert it back into this opening. Again, you want this thing to be forward, this little notch. You want to slide this back into the knife. I'm right-handed, so let me do it this way. It'll be a little bit easier for me. Well, it should be easier for me. Press the button. If you don't press the button, it's not going to work. You heard it pop in place. Listen to that. All right. I locked it in the first one. I want to lock it in this one, I believe. We'll find out. Eh, maybe I want to lock it in the front one.
Let's see what would happen if I locked it in the other notch. Okay, maybe you're not supposed to. All right, that's how you put a new blade in. Now, I believe that there are spare blades in here. I'm just trying to figure out how to open this thing up. Make sure, again, that no blade is extended. And I think there are blades hiding in here. I just don't know how to... Oh, there it is. So there were blades hiding in there. That ah, You don't want to do that because you could definitely hurt yourself. Like, So is this a sharp blade? This is a new blade. Not used before. And I don't even remember how that popped out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to this unit. I'm going to grab a blade. I'm going to slide it out. I have a new blade in the uh, knife. That's the old blade. And I'm going to put one more of these blades in here just so I have it. And then you take this thing and you close it. And that is how you change a blade on a Stanley Utility Knife. And my review of this, this is awesome. I'm really happy. It's always nice to have some place to store your sharp blades. So let's do a test now. Let's see how it works. You saw how much trouble I had cutting the plastic before. So let's just go in here and see what happens. Move your fingers, move my fingers away from there, and I'm just going to put light pressure on here to see what happens, to see if it makes a difference. Much better. That other blade had gone through a lot of wallboard, drywall, and uh, a lot of repairs and a lot of boxes. Oh, yeah, check that out. That's nice. That is nice. That's a sharp blade. Uh, could not be happier. Whoops, there goes that piece of plastic on the floor. Again, I don't know what these two things are. They don't list it in the, uh, on the package. But this is my review of the Stanley 50 Blade Utility Knife Package number 11-921L. Thanks for watching.